everyone this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and I have a card tutorial for t for you today and um, also it's a treat cup so I'm using Stampin' Up! sweet treat cups for this card and I made a Mother's Day card um, out of this but being Easter is coming up I thought this would make a cute little Easter bonnet um, also so this is what I'm sharing today and I hope you enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started so what we'll need is your basic card and this is whisper white and it's four and a quarter by five and a half then you're gonna need a piece of coastal cabana the other one I made was melon mambo but I'm gonna change it up a little bit and use the coastal cabana and this is four by five and then a piece of designer series paper which is also four by five and it's, this is just to back this because I like that it's more sturdy when I back it and then you're going to need another piece and this is for our little door and it's um, four by uh, no this is two and a half by five and a quarter and I didn't even show you the door but what it is is because you made this beautiful card you don't want someone tearing it apart to get your, to the candy so if you pull this up you can get the candy a lot easier and then you have a little greeting that's up at the top so we're going to go ahead and get started and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this uh, designer service paper to the um, Coastal Cabana cardstock and it's, I like it this way you don't have to back it because you can just use the designer series paper but this makes it a lot sturdier so you don't have to do the middle because we are going to cut a, a hole out of that so let me line these up really good because you want these just right okay so that and then you are going to need one of our white um, tea lace doilies and we're going to go ahead and attach that and just use your snail for this because these are really delicate and you don't want anything terribly sticky you can even use your Tombow on this but I'm using this because I don't want to wait for it to dry and also you don't have to do the middle on this one either just get your outside edges really good okay so we are going to make a sticky mess on here but we are going to attach this to the center and then I'm going to grab the Big Shot um, for this particular card I couldn't get my um, punch that works for these treat cups I couldn't get it in here because it's too wide so I am using the circle framelits and on the circle framelits which are these I'm using the fourth one from the center and that fits it it's a little bit big but it fits it pretty well and it stays in place so let me grab the big shot really quick and what I'm gonna do is just cut the center out first so we'll just put that on here center that right in the middle of the doily and then we're going to run this through okay now I'm going to move the big shot out of the way real quick but I will have to bring it up in a second whoops there goes my plate okay so that cut the center now we want to line it up where we're going to put it on here and what I did was I just grabbed a pencil which where did it go and I lined it where I want it and I want a little space here to put my sentiment so I did put it close to the top and I just mark the corners here with a pencil you'll have to erase these later just so I get it lined back up where I want it and then just do a little circle right in the center there because now we're gonna go ahead and punch the center of this well I say punch but I'm going to use the big shot Put that down again our first plate 
and then this. Oops, it helps when you put the, and we'll just line that up with that circle that we drew. And then we're going to go ahead and cut that. Okay, so now we have everything the way that we need it. Okay, so now we're ready to attach this to the front. But first, before we do that, we need to put the treat cup in there. And you will see that I had to do this video twice because I forgot to put the uh, treat cup in there. <laughs> Don't make that mistake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some glue dots. You can use Tombow or you know what, I'm going to go ahead and use the Tombow. I have to wait a couple minutes, but I used the Tombow before for this and it worked just fine. So let's go ahead and attach this first and you want to center it of course and you see that it fits really well with those framelits so I want to wipe some of that because but this will dry clear so we'll be okay okay so you might have to wait a couple minutes for that to dry but we're gonna go ahead and move forward and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my adhesive on here since I've got this already marked. Don't put it at the top because our, our little um, slide is going to go there where we pull for the candy. So let me go ahead and grab some Fast Fuse. And we have it marked there, those little lines, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that as a guide. And just put it on the sides. bottom and then up this side okay so let's go ahead and attach this now and line up our little pencil marks that we have up there okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and stamp our little slide here and the stamp sets that I'm using is this crazy about you and I'm just using the happy and the Mother's Day from this and then this one I'm using the thankful for you so this is good greetings and this one is a hostess set so if you get hostess dollars um, you can get this free and then this is a crazy about you so let me grab my Coastal Cabana and we'll stamp this let me scoot that out of the way so you can see here and we're just going to do it right at the very top Oop. isn't that pretty the writing I love the writing on this set and then we'll go ahead and stamp the card while we're stamping and I don't know why I have extra here. I think this card might, I may have measured it wrong. Let me check. Because it's a lot longer. I have more space. Yes, it is. I don't know how that happened. But let me go ahead and trim a little bit off of that before. Because this is supposed to be five and a half. So I'm going to trim that extra off. Because the space is five and a half by four and a quarter. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp that. Happy Mother's Day on the bottom. That was just way too long. Okay, so let me get above this. So there's the Happy Mother's Day. And then we are ready to put our little slide in. I'm going to use my little corner rounder and just round the corners. It just looks cuter when the corners are rounded on this. And then let's go ahead and grab some candy. And the candy that I used are these little six lits. I couldn't find anything that close to the Coastal Cabana. So 
if you can find any. I used the Skittles in the other one with the Melon Mambo, and those matched pretty well. Let's see if I can get this in with all that in there. So this will slide. Not one too many. It slides in like that. So it holds that in there. And then we're ready to decorate the little cup. And I'm using our Coastal Cabana ribbon. I think this is quarter inch ribbon. And we're just going to cut a piece to fit around the end. And I just use glue dots to attach this. I just put a couple like right at the end. It just holds it in place here. And I just crisscrossed it to make it look like a little. I like using my ribbon scissors better, but I don't see them close by. So, And these, these here I'm going to, let me see. I don't know where my ribbon scissors went, but these don't want to cut, cut. I need to get these sharpened, actually. Okay. We're going to do that. And then um, I just made a bow with my fingers. And I just played with it till I got it exactly how I wanted it and how big I wanted it. And so I'm just going to cut some here. I'm going to make it a little bit longer so I can, because I want them to be a little bit different lengths. So we're going to attach that also with glue dots. And I'm going to cut this tails off here. We'll go ahead and attach that. And then another thing that I did is to make these little flowers. If you have a flower punch, you can use that, a small flower punch. But I didn't have one that small, so I'm using this Baby's First Framelits dies, and I use this little flower here. And you have to cut 10 of them. That's how many I cut. And then um, I just used this, one of my... Um, soft pads and I just put the, that in the end and I squished it down to make them pop up like that. And now we're going to need to attach all of these and we're going to attach these all also with glue dots. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, for this one, I guess I didn't need 10. I guess I could put one under here if I wanted, but you really don't have to. But I, let me go ahead and put the last one under there. I did use 10 on the last one. Okay, so now we're ready to add our little basic pearls. Oh, I know where the 10th one went. Sorry. The 10th one goes in the center here. <laughs> I forgot about that. All right. That's why it did, I didn't have to squeeze it in there. All right. So let's go ahead and grab our basic pearls, and I'll go ahead and attach all the basic pearls. Okay, so now I have all the basic pearls. Isn't that adorable? I love the pearls make these little flowers just pop. They're so cute. And I did put a larger one in the center of this one, like I did in the other one. So that is it. If you need any supplies, go to my blog at stampingwiththemori.com, and you can shop right from my blog. 
So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's it's super fun to make, and you can get the um, sweet tree cups um, from my shop. And you can there's so many uses for them. I did another project also using the sweet treat cups for Halloween. And you can if you see my videos or if you follow me, you know which what I'm talking about. So everyone have a blessed day and I'll see you next time. Bye.